Well, thanks very much, Mr Deputy Speaker. <clears throat> Earlier this year, I was very pleased to have the opportunity to officially launch construction of the new state-of-the-art multi-sports complex at Nepal Stadium at HE Parker Reserve in Heathmont. Uh, this new complex is being built to cater for a large number of sports, including volleyball, badminton, table tennis and, importantly, netball, and will provide world-class facilities for some of the up-and-coming athletes uh, in Melbourne's eastern suburbs. Importantly for our local netballers, it will include four new indoor and four new outdoor netball courts, with connectivity between both the indoor and outdoor courts. Other new facilities will include a tournament office, a large multi-purpose room, a meeting room, a gym, office space, kiosk, storage, uh, other important amenities, uh, change facilities and a first aid room. Most significantly, these new indoor courts will mean an end to an unfair situation uh, that has been in place for many years, where netballers, predominantly women, are forced to play their games outdoors, often in cold, wet uh, and slippery conditions, uh, while local basketballers, just a kilometre up the road, get to play indoors. Given the growing participation rate that all these uh, above-mentioned sports are currently experiencing, uh, in particular netball, I'm so pleased to have been able to have helped make this project a reality through a $10.5 million funding contribution from the federal government. In the eastern region of Melbourne alone, there are around 20,000 registered netballers who will now have access to some of the best competition facilities in the country, not just in our state but in the entire country. We'll finally have a centre that's fit for purpose for all of our brilliant local clubs and their volunteers who do an outstanding job, including Bayswater United, uh, Uniting Netball Club, Blackburn Lake Netball Club, Heathbird, Heathmont United Netball Club, Holy Spirit Netball Club, Mullum Netball Club, Norwood Heights Netball Club, Nunawading Netball Club, Our Ladies Netball Club, Park Orchards Netball Club, Rangeview Rangers. Netball Club, Ringwood North Netball Club, Southwood Netball Club, St James Netball Club and finally Trinity Netball Club. My hope is that this new state of the art centre will allow each of these clubs to continue to grow and to go from, grow from strength to strength, attracting new players and launching hopefully uh, the future careers of many Australian netball stars. In the Maroondah Council area there are two netball associations. The Melbourne East Netball Association and Aerial Victorian Churches Netball Association. I'd like to thank them for ad their advocacy uh, towards making this project a reality. And finally, I'd like to acknowledge the work of Councillor Kylie Spears from the Maroondah City Council, who's also the president of the Melbourne East Netball Association, who's worked with me from day one to make this new netball stadium a reality for the people of Deakin. Yeah,